Yo, welcome to this game. This is Jared, I'm on chess.com and I'm playing a 10 minute game against Kamikaze Chess. Um, okay, c4. Play knight f6. If he plays d4, I'll play e6. So, with these sort of um, flank pawn openings, uh, this is a c4, this is the English, but I'm trying to always transpose into a system that I know. Okay. Okay. Right. I think I can just play bishop e7 and then d5. d5 takes, takes. Yeah, I can play d5, right? Actually, I can play h6 first. Why not? Okay, d5. Occupying the center. Establishing a pawn in the center is always a good idea. Okay, can he do this? Well, I suppose. He can't win a pawn, because I have this covered. So, um, out of the opening, I've got the two bishops. That's pretty good. So, how to continue now? This looks quite nice already. <laughs> I want to play for c5 at some moment. <clears throat> My bishop is already on f6. Um. <laughs> It's just castle. And think about a plan later. Yes, e3. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Maybe he wants to play bishop d3, so I'm going to play this. And if he plays knight, oh, we can't play knight h4. So my idea is to prevent bishop d3. Now this is always an issue. Whenever you move the bishop, the b, the b pawn can become a problem. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. yes, this is a bit tricky now. Hmm. Yes, the d5 pawn and the b pawn are both hanging. I don't think there's a move to defend both. <laughs> Sometimes you just think you're making good moves and then it sort of backfires. But hold on, hold on. Let me think here. Is there really no way to defend both pawns? Hmm. <laughs> Um, I can't see a way to defend both pawns. Well, it's clear I've already made a mistake, so... Wow. don't know what to do. Um, this is uh, not, not very happy. I should have played bishop e6, that would have been better. Hmm. Wow, I really don't know what I'm doing now. Hmm. <sighs> I don't 
don't see a move. Okay, c6, takes on b7, the rook is hanging. Not good. We've got to play for compensation, I think. Except I don't actually see how I'm doing that. Queen b7, knight d7. You can just take on e, take on d5. Wow. I've just completely, completely messed up this position. In fact, no, he can't. No, yes, he can. He can. He can just take. I've just completely messed up this position. Wow, I'm just completely lost here. Now I can just take on d5. It'll be two pawns up. Un unbelievable. Wow. Man, that is just really, really crazy. Chess is such a hard game sometimes. It's just... Queen b3, man. Just two pawns down now after um, knight d5. But hold on. Is there nothing I can do after knight d5? Are there, are there any tricks? Rook b8. Rook b8. Give this a go. Yeah, like he can play queen c7. This is just nonsense. Or he can take here. Well, in fact, I'm still going to be two pawns down after queen a7. Well, this is my best chance, I think. I don't really have anything else. Maybe I've got knight e4. Oh, knight d5 maybe with some pressure somewhere. In fact, knight d5, I've got knight c3. Hmm. Or oh, I've also got knight g4. How does, how does he defend this pawn? He castles. G4 castles. No, I don't see it. Come on. I've sacked two pawns, not intentionally, of course, so I need to get some comp. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I guess from a, a technical standpoint, this game is over, but I'm going to try my best to, uh, to keep it going here a little bit longer. Don't want to give up my active rook. But how exactly to continue? Going for a rook a8 here, um, which would um, almost trap the queen. Except he's probably just got. Ah, I thought he would just play rook b1. Okay. He's got queen c5, but I can capture. Capture on a2. Uh huh. I, I, I have a few tricks here. For example, queen c5, rook a takes a2. And then, then I'm threatening knight e3. Because if pawn e3, I've got a. No, I don't quite have a mate in 2. I thought I had a mate in 2. 
what this knight is covering. He's covering some squares. Anyway, I'd, I don't have much else, so I better take this. My knight is covering c7. So if this knight moves somewhere, Wow, okay. Can I try knight e3 though? Does this do anything? Knight e3, pawn e3, rook g2, king h1. No, pretty sure it's not doing anything, okay. Three pawn e three bishop takes. Queen or rook takes. Don't know. <clears throat> I'm going for <clears throat> for g four to try and dislodge this knight. So I've got possibly knight e three. Oh, I just blundered the rook. Um, just not paying any attention. So, yeah, I just completely missed that he was attacking my rook. Yeah, not much you can do. Although, uh, although now I've got knight e3. takes queen h2 mate. In fact, that's a threat now. So if he doesn't take queen h2 mate, if he does take queen h2 mate, he doesn't have any checks. And I'm attacking the rook and threatening mate. And also if he plays f3, maybe rook g2 check, king h1. Still shouldn't really be anything hmm this game is just completely ridiculous of course <clears throat> both sides blundering but mostly me blundering um, at least I've got something so you can't take the knight Ah, uh, now he's also got queen e8 check, so that's yeah, that's a good move. But I can take, 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 king takes. Well. How's this position? I'm actually uh, equal material. Wow. <laughs> equal material. So maybe I've got a chance. All right. Equal. Oh, great. Oh, no, I've just blundered now. Once again. Oh, this game. You, you get a chance to. to come back in the game. Immediately the next move, you blunder it away. <laughs> I can't play rook d4 now? Okay. Um. I couldn't play rook d4 because of knight f5 knight f check. Okay, maybe he can play here. Going for last cheapo, which he spotted. Okay. Ah, uh, it's just got rook to g7, mate. 
Yep. Oh, what a crappy game. But I'll still post this one because it's interesting. Just from an opening point of view. Um, yeah, bishop f5 is just bad. I completely didn't see queen b3. Uh, if bishop e6, queen b3 just does nothing. I just got b6. Or even just b6 now. Man, you think you have a good position and then just one move later it's just lost. This is just lost. I mean... Chess is just such a hard game. It's so complicated. But he gave me too much play here. Um, I wondered about this. I'm sure it's not working at all. Ah. No, that quite doesn't quite work. I, oh, I don't have that move, surely. No. No. Oh, I thought that may have been interesting. It's not working at all. Yeah, I looked at some line like this, but... Oh, maybe it is working. If, oh, if he takes with a rook, but if he takes with a queen... Um, no, hold on, I have this move. Ah, oh, this was working all along. This was working. If he takes, it's just mate. Unbelievable. Ah. Wow, this knight takes was working. Um... But hold on, what if you take here? Do I take the rook or take the bishop? Maybe the bishop. Because you still can't take here because of the same reason. And I can even take with the queen here. Oh no, I can't. The queen's not on on this line. But yeah, let's just mate. Amazing. Ah, oh, I did have a few tactical resources here. Man, if I had seen in this position, even oh, taking the rook's probably not good, but even this position. Wow, it's still very good. Yeah, this is just mating. You can, if you take the knight, it's just mating. Um, this move? I just trade. Just trade everything and take the rook. Holy moly. I'm just completely winning here. Wow. So I missed something quite nice. Hmm. My intuition was telling me that like knight takes pawn would have been quite good, but... Oh well. Well, I hope you enjoy this game. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.